All right, getting ready for my presentation, and now it's time to relax. Really? Now, after all these hours, you can finally make some noise now? Jeez, good thing I have another room back there. Ah, oh, now this is relaxing. Aw, oh, come on, are you serious? Neighbors, a part where you live next door. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, noisy, and some of them are complete a-holes. Luckily for me, the neighbors where I live, two of them are, are good. Now, however, one of them is super noisy, and the other one almost destroyed my balcony stairs. Yeah, that completely happens. I'll explain the details later. So it started in 2020. When the virus came out in here in Puerto Rico, now the reason I can't say the name of the virus because of YouTube rules, so yeah. Anyways, completely go into the story. It was a complete lockdown. I was happy for a reason because obviously I have to drive through one hour and 30 minutes through where I live at college. That's a complete pain. Honestly though, the traffic and everything was complete awful. So, I had to take conferences. So, for me, I was completely happy. But every time I take O and take the conference, this always happens. Every time I take a conference, that kid does like he has a sugar rush on him. When the conference is over, he stops and the rest of the night is complete silence. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? It was so annoying and it makes me so angry because I can't hear the entire thing. However, it was like so much. It's like who who is winning at the screaming contest? I even have to use my car in the garage to take the conference. It was a good idea of mine. However, you may ask, well, that's not bad. It always happens. Oh, my dear viewer, you believe that that's bad? Oh, let me tell you what happens when it gets to the worst part of all. Yeah, that little kid doing noise at 1 a.m. in the morning. I almost had a heart attack because I thought it was some thieves entering the house. But nope, it was that kid doing the noise. It was so annoying that I could even sleep. It was so hard to sleep. I had to use my bathtub to sleep in my bathroom. I asked the neighbors politely to control their neighbors, and by so, they did. I was completely happy, so I slept completely fine. Now, let me tell you about the other neighbor who almost destroyed my balcony. It was two years later in 2022. One day in the morning, I was just watching TV and eating some snacks while I heard a loud noise in front of my house. I obviously thought it was some trash cans that fell over because of the wind until I hear, Oh shit! I ran to the living room to open the door and that's when I saw the neighbor's car on my balcony stairs and breaking it through the process. It actually turns out that the neighbor thought he put the car in park but instead he put it on drive which led to the car run into my house and crashed the balcony stairs and breaking it. He actually just apologizes and said he was going to pay for it. So I ask you my dear viewer. Do you guys think that he did it? Quick answer, no. He didn't pay anything and also passes in front of us like nothing happened. Like seriously, dude, if you break something, just pay it. So what me and my dad did is fix the balcony stairs and it's good as new, like nothing happened. So that is my experience of having neighbors. Do you guys have good neighbors or bad neighbors? Any kind of neighbors? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Also, I'm very sorry that the video was very late to post it on YouTube. Just what happens, it was a family matter situation. So the video process was a little bit of delay on that part. But I'm actually back on schedule, so everything is normal. Thank you for your patience, and I hope you have a wonderful day. See ya.